Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com I am part 3 of the plane tutorial series So in this part I'm going to continue modeling the plane And I'm going to apply the textures and rendering with VRA2 So it's gonna be a lot of fun So be sure to stay with me My name is Abanob and this is gfxtoday.com So, I'm gonna start with these rear wings. Very simple, just make a box or maybe, I don't know, maybe just a lion. And follow the path here. Press F3 to see through. Close it. Go to perspective and give it some height, bevel, and height. Okay, now go to the front view. Maybe you'll need to hide this for a second. Grab this one, lift it up there, and Okay, and now let's convert it to editable poly, and now let's take those two vertices, make sure you're in local or maybe parent, okay, and grab this to here, and this one to here, so it's a little bit thinner, and same for these two. Front view, see how it looks. Okay, great. Now let's unhide all, and the wing is almost done. And let's take these two and maybe put them there. Okay, I don't know, maybe lift them up a little bit. Okay, so pretty good actually let's apply our default material and our nice black color to this and now let's do the same that we did here apply the tisselate and mesh smooth maybe you can cover this and paste them here so now it has the exact same nice smoothing around it now let's just mirror it, the copy, grab it to here, there, okay. Now let's do these things here that take the air from here to there, I don't know what you call it. Anyway, let's go to box and make a box that's coming from here to like there Got the left view adjust height something like this and go to maybe here and height now make sure that the pivot is on the center like this not the, cen the center of this and the bottom of the box okay and let's decrease no not this one decrease decrease no this one yes this one go to perspective and let's apply this material to see and now I'm going to twist this one. Okay, so maybe I need to this, not this. Okay, sorry for that. 
Now I'm going to apply a twist. Twist, 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 twist. Yes, twist. Okay. And let's make it something like so. Okay. Maybe I'll just decrease the width. And there we go. We have this one. Now let's hold down shift. Make sure this one is on. Hold down shift and take it to something like I don't know. Let's cancel this one. I want to increase the lens a little bit and I'll show you why. In a second, I want this area to be just empty okay so now let's make this like uh, let's see 10 degrees and okay simple mess I know let's delete this last one and now we have this one ready go to the front view and select them all move them to the center and just decrease it a little bit so we have these ones and now let's make a sphere here go to select view and ooh, like so hemispheres and let's bring this back to there give it the material and boom we have this okay looks good let's go to the front view again select them all put them in a group and hold down shift put it on the place here I guess I selected something else yes I did ok we really don't want anything else so thanks guys ungroup uh, let's unselect these ones and delete those two extra ones ok no problem let's ungroup this and unselect this one okay group again front view hold down shift copy this here press Z button and try to center oh it looks cool <laughs> by the way from here okay <laughs> so let's put this back in there lift it up pull it back and you look cool ok so now after finishing the modeling process let's unfreeze all select this one this one this one and hide selection or you can even delete it we don't need them anymore and now I'm not going to apply a special material just going to look how it looks in V-Ray so press F10 go down there sign renderer and select V-Ray advanced 2 and for this one for the active shade press select V-Ray real time so now for these settings I'm not going to do everything just go to here and select my preset which is not here by the way ok anyway just go to GFX today and you will find a topic a post that has all my favorite render settings so I'm going to apply this now ok so now everything is here like cache and irradiance map and all of these ones now let's go to V-Ray and environment and I'm going to put an HDRI anything you have actually 
and the way to put it is just select a simple slot go down there and there is a V-Ray HDRI select this one press Prowl and I have a whole bunch of these here from Doge website so I'm going to select number 13 you can really select anything you want and now let's grab this here as a maybe instance here there and let's close this one okay now for this airplane I'm going to apply a white material select V-Ray material and for the color I'm going to select white and 100% reflection and check this one okay so now it has some reflections let's go to perspective here again close this one right click and view an active shade now let's wait for it to finish okay Select here and here we have our nice plan and you can see the shadows here and reflections there I really like this one and you can you know do anything you can go to this M here and if you want to increase the overall multiplayer you can increase this maybe two which is going to make it really bright like this which looks really cool actually and of course you can apply any material to them so I have a pre-made material that you can apply for maybe this part here so I'm going to try it with you it's open and it's a chrome material see select maybe first one close this and apply it to here and you will see it's really nice maybe you can put it to this one too and also just really play as you like Let's try it on the body and now it doesn't look even like a plane <laughs> so I'll just undo that and now we can just for more realistic issues can press 8 and for the background you can just drag this to here see how this looks from there so if you get go to like here it will look like the plane is from the sky or something so really just play around and I hope you guys have fun with this so I have made my own version previously I'll show it to you okay here it is now you can see it here in the active shade oops I guess didn't do this active shade ok real time and now let's close this and active shade again this was really just like a test to look like the real one in this image here and by the way it's just a toy so I try to simulate this and there we go I have this nice plan in the sky with all these really cool things I really really like these reflections from the sun on the body here so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new from this series so thank you for watching and be sure to come to <laughs> I really like playing <laughs> like this and okay I will end tutorial series of this shot so thank you, I am Apanop and this is GFX Today.
Welcome.